Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use uh, RDF namespace prefixes uh, in wiki titles when you import RDF data into Semantic Media Wiki. Uh, so to give you an idea, this is a namespace and this is its corresponding prefix. And for RDF you typically have this defined for all property, uh, for all vocabularies or ontologies that you're using. So you have namespaces for properties. But you don't usually have that for entities, so we don't have a namespace for this molecule, for example. And this molecule which has a spectrum, and it has, which in turn has peaks, etc. We don't have namespaces for these things. So let's import this example data without any options first. So we, we will see what problem this creates, that we don't have any namespaces for normal entities. And, and how it affects how to choose the wiki titles on import. So let's find the molecule page where everything begins. There we go. And we see that the molecule pages I am title is not very nice and the same goes for the spectrum spectrum page and for the peaks and uh, if we look at the original URI we can see where it has been split it has not been split in a good place and also we would not like to just have this identifier as title either because then we would in no way know what it is so it would be nice maybe to have something like peak, colon, and then this identifier. So uh, the RDF IO extension allows a way to do this by introducing namespaces and prefixes also for normal entities, not just, not just uh, vocabularies. So we will try to do that. First we'll just delete the pages we just imported. While that is running, let's fix this already. There we go, and I'll, I'll just double check that we did delete everything, yes. So let's now delete, uh, no, import this new data where we have introduced these namespaces. And let me, let's get this running. I wanted also to click use namespace prefixes in wiki titles for non-properties. And hopefully we will now get more sensible wiki titles for the molecule and the spectrum and the peaks. Okay, let's find the molecule again. There we go. Yes, the molecule has the more sensible title same goes for the spectrum and for the peaks. So this is it. 